let's have a look at the Balenciaga skirt. It's a really nice, simple skirt. You can see it's actually not a pencil skirt. It's sort of straight boarding an A-line. And because it's got the nice leather belt, you can't actually tell how it looks at the top. The waist will either just be completely plain or it might have a waistband. I, my guess is it might just be plain, especially if you're wearing it with a waistband as sort of knee length. And I'm drawing it with a little bit of volume and it still has shaping at the waist, but it isn't pencil, um, pencil skirt. So it, the skirt shape doesn't go in, it sort of slightly goes up, it's nearly A-line. And it's got some really beautiful chunky hem, so it's top stitched, but it looks like it actually might have some sort of slightly um, spongy, fluffy interfacing, so some sort of padding, so the um, hem becomes a feature, and it also gives the skirt body rather than just hanging down and this detail gets continued at the back and I'm going to talk about it in a second but let's have a quick look at the top you can see it's got side seams you can just about see it there but then it's got this really beautiful detail here where you've got what looks like a dart but I'm going to talk about it in a second and then you've got a welt it's sort of a welt pocket or pocket with a little flap and the po um, pocket crows out of a dart, and you've got one on the other one. So what they've done is, or what Balenciaga did, is they moved the darts slightly to the side. So if you're very curvy, you might have to keep an extra dart. So you might have to split your dart into two and sort of distribute it around. But a lot of the time, um, you can just move your dart a bit, especially as we're going to add a little bit of detail, which adds some ease, um, which, which I'm going to talk about in a little while. But what we have is actually two different things. On this side, we just got a normal dart, which becomes a pocket. You can just about see it. And then, of course, the pocket bag is something like this. On this side, this also acts as your opening. And that's why it's so much more prominent. You can really see. So it might either have a um, side seam with a zip or this is also the opening. And because this really stands out, it looks like it's separate. And in which case, you again, you have like your um, pocket bag. But then it probably actually comes up to here. And then underneath here, you might have your zip inside your pocket bag and then you have a little hook and eye closure underneath. So it's a really neat style. And then there's a seam there. And that just sort of holds it all together. Um, hides the zip somewhere you won't see it. It's from early 60s, so it could have had an invisible zip, but it might not. But it's a really nice detail. And I'm going to show you it's quite interesting because here the seam hits at the middle of the belt which means it's quite tricky to stitch and if you want something which is a little bit easier to stitch you could try out this really nice yellow one and there The, it looks slightly different, so on the, uh, the option would be to just if you have another skirt instead of it going to the middle, you could also have it like this. The reason this is like that is, I think, because there is a zip behind it, so by putting it into the middle, you have less, less of the veil sort of flat. Fla flapping around because on here if you did it as an opening because if it's just a um, dart you can just stitch it to your skirt but if it's an opening this is all loose so by putting it halfway through only half of it is loose while here 
the whole fist would be loose and that might sort of just flap down and not look very elegant which I think back on in the middle so if you want to do if you want to do it opening I would suggest that but it's a lot trickier to sew so if you're just looking for nice detail um, on a coat a dress a pair of trousers a skirt I would go for this option because it's much easier to make and let's have a quick look at the back the back is really nice as well so you can actually see it's not fully fitted there is like a little bit of gathering and this is from the matte collection or it is in the matte collection and they just say early 60s so they actually don't know where it's from which is quite interesting so it was just donated but um this sort of straight very slightly flat flared skirt is something Balenciaga did quite a lot and he did that sort of pocket detail as you can see on the yellow coat as well and he's also done it on a black skirt this a, a few times and again here we can see the top stitched hem which is really padded and then the same sort of construction method is also used in two seams at the back which act as the darts so instead of having darts at the back you change it into panels and again they've moved it even further than I've drawn it's probably right to the side which again that's why it's not that fitted around the bum can you see that's why it has these little tucks there and ease and um, so again if you're quite curvy I would I would put another dart here and here and the same there which could be a really nice detail as well to have these sort of four darts spread out evenly and then again here at the bottom we can see like at the front that this is open so there's either a little slit here which for like a little flat flap so you have a bit more movement to walk and this is the slightly a-line Balenciaga skirt with a nice pocket detail.